evolutionary point for the reptilian brain. There, there is a part of us that's just in our hardwire that protects us, that protects us from physical damage, that protect, protects us from something happening to us that would be wrong. It's the reason we're, we get vertigo when we get high. Right when we're up on a, on a ladder or we look over a cliff, you, know, you go to the Grand Canyon, whoops, all of a sudden you, you're stepping back from the edge, not because, I mean, you can always maintain your balance. Look, if you're standing here, you could stand on a, on a three-foot board right here, like all afternoon, couldn't you? Put a thousand empty feet underneath you and what happens? <laughs> right? Because of the risk, right? So that is that, that's that inner, what's called, it's called, the reptilian brain, that part of us that creates, what it does is it creates automatic, very dire fear responses. Sometimes, and this is the second part of this, it comes from the mind below thinking. And that is, that is the same thing, except what happens is that this is something that makes self-protective associations that feel like life and death, but aren't. Right, so people will often say, I, 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 I talked to the Dale Carnegie Institute for a long time and helped people overcome their fear of public speaking. What they would say is, oh, man, I, don't, I, I just can't do that. You know, if I get up there, I'm going to make a fool of myself and I'm going to die. They say, I'm going to die. The feeling is as if they were going to die. I don't know any people that died just because they got up in front of a group and spoke. But they have the feeling of it. Why? Because it's tied to that mind of thinking. And, and, and put a star by this word, engrams. What an engram is, it's when something happens to you that's so emotionally loaded that it, it locks in part of your brain. Okay? They, they, they've studied this neurologically. So this is scientifically true. The brain actually forms a, a complex around this event called an engram. And that's a trigger. So that anything that comes up that looks similar to that, all of a sudden activates that, that inner gut level fear driven reptilian response. So that's important to understand because sometimes for many of us, I will tell you this was true for me, I had fears that I had no idea where they came from. Right? I mean I could feel a fear reaction to doing something like making a phone call or speaking in front of a group, or um, doing something where someone was in the back of the room judging me, judging whether my, I was doing well, uh, or even in athletic events, when I, early on in my athletic career, I had times where I almost, you know, left the team because I was so afraid of failing on the team. <coughs> where did that come from? It came from those early experiences. So, and by the way, then the final thing is, and put a star by this, our thoughts. Our thoughts lead to our feelings. That's, the, that's why we... Uh, all of the people I'm going to talk about in a little bit who have studied this said, you must manage your thoughts. Your thoughts are not you. Your brain is a thought generator. Your brain is a thought generator. It's what it does. It generates thoughts. Some serve you, some don't. The ones that don't, you need to say no to. Just like somebody making an offer on a house. Nope, not acceptable. Uh, oh yeah, I like that one. I'm, take, I'm buying that one. <clears throat> and knowing those thoughts and managing them is part of how we build our confidence. Now let's move in.